We're going to be exposing Candace Owens here. I'm sure you guys know who Candace Owens is. Previously known as Red Pill Black. Essentially a sellout because she knew that she was going to get real popular being a black conservative. Because it is a token card to be played. Uh, it's much more, you know, it's much more... Uh, it has a lot more of an impact when you're a minority and you're conservative because there are so fucking few of them. So, what we're going to be looking at here is a little clip from a PragerU video that Candace Owens was in uh, talking about celebrities and their opinions. Now, let's see what Candace Owens said about the opinions or her thoughts on, Can or on celebrities' opinions. Check it out. Dear Celebrities, I'm sorry to be the one to have to break this to you, but we do not care, not in the slightest particle of an imaginary thing, what you think. If this surprises you, I understand, because let's be fair, we have played an important role in your delusion. Okay, that seems like quite the strong stance. It really seemed very, you know, uh, emphasized a lot of stress going into what she was trying to say. She's trying to really stress that, hey, celebrities, we don't give a single slightest, not even the, you know, little smallest particle of shit about what the fuck you say. Well, you guys know Kanye tweeted out saying I like the way Candace Owens thinks. Let's read what she said in response to that tweet. She said, I'm freaking out at Kanye West. Please take a meeting with me. I tell every single person that everything I have been inspired to do was written in your music. I am my own biggest fan because you made it okay. I need you to help wake up the black community. Yes, that is right. She sent out a completely fawning tweet over Kanye West, who is a celebrity. The celebrity's thoughts are, I love the way Candace Owens thinks. Well, by her own logic, wouldn't she not give a fuck what celebrities think? She just explained that she does not even give the smallest particle of a fuck about what, about what celebrities say. But then when a celebrity says something, you fawn over them. When a, well, sorry, I should say this. When a celebrity says something that you like, you fawn over it. You love it. You self-proclaimly freak out. You know, you, you love what he say. You say everything you have been inspired to do is by Kanye West. And you love his thoughts. When he says something that is beneficial or satisfactory to yourself, you're in love with it. You think it's amazing. You think it's awesome. So great. This is just a blatant hypocrisy on the part of Candace Owens. But this is not just, you know, in this area. We're going to be looking at something else of Candace Owens um, in a bit as well. But essentially what you're looking at here is a complete sellout. It's very obvious too, similar to a Dave Rubin type thing. But... Candace Owens, prior to becoming Red Pill Black, nobody knew the fuck she was. But after she became Red Pill Black, people started knowing her. And now that Kanye West has done this, she's absolutely skyrocketing in popularity. She knew that as a, as a minority, being a black person, just shitting on Black Lives Matter. A black person shitting on Black Lives Matter is far stronger than, you know, whether it be Charlie Kirk's dumbass or whoever the other fuck is going to go shit on Black Lives Matter. Uh, even though there are cases of police brutality still happen to this day, ones that I've reported on multiple times, and there are a lot that even I don't get to talk about, and there are a lot more that just go on social media, and they don't even gain that much traction, there's no accountability left, and just going out and, you know, using intellectual laziness of just giving this card that you play of, oh, you know, fuck the Democrats, the black, you know, they're trying to get the black votes, and I don't know if it was her who said it or something like that, but was some conservative was like, they're trying to bring... Uh, you know, trying to get black people black back on the plantations, which is fucking massive and disgusting hyperbole. Someone correct me if that's not her. I don't remember who it is, to be fair. I want to say it was her, but I'm not really sure. But again, this is just a massive hypocrisy on the part of Candace Owens.